today's video regarding HP NY Pro 6432 all-in-one printer I'm going to show you how to do the wireless printing and scanning so first step is to switch on the printer once your printer is on go to the control panel now press the information button once and it will send a command for the printer to print the printer information page So here we can see this is the printer information page look for the Wi-Fi direct icon in that under that you will see the Wi-Fi direct name so this is the name of the Wi-Fi of this printer so that is the name we are looking for and here is the Wi-Fi direct password now go to your device for example I have an iPhone here and we open the setting and then go for the Wi-Fi setup and in the Wi-Fi setup look for the printer's name that is direct BD HP and Y and click on that it will ask the password so enter the password here click on the join button so go to the iPhone open the HP smart app and you can download this app from the app store if you don't have on the top of the screen you see there is a add printer button also the plus button so you can click any one and it will show up the printer here it should come automatically and you just have to click on that and it will just add up the printer instantly here it also displays the amount of ink left now your printer is ready for wireless printing and scanning and for example I'm going to show you how to do the print document so click on that select any file you want to print for example this click on the print button and click print again it will send the command for the printer so th now I'm going to show you how to do the wireless scanning now I'm going to show you how to do the wireless scanning so here is the scan button click on that we need to so this printer has option to do multiple scannings so we can use the two of feeder tray so I'm going to place the pages here so it should be like this going in so these are the three pages go to the device and click on this blue icon so here we can see all the three pages are available so this way we can do the multiple scannings and save it as a single PDF file so once you click on the save button you get all the options here thanks for watching